In the last video, we set out on a 5 day RP journey across the lands of Heaven's Ward. We got to know the other fellow adventurers, we purposefully chose not to fight a giant woolly yak, and despite a million red flags, we actually made pretty good friends with a group of dragons. In this second part of the story, we would reach our destination of Idleshire, where one specific denizen had a highly... suspicious project he wanted our assistance with. But before any of that, I had a major problem to solve. As you could tell from last time, I still had not made any money, because somehow people were just not getting injured. My glorious healthcare scam was never going to work if people simply never needed healing. Something needed to change. For a short while, I was toying with the idea of... Uh, <laughs> inducing some additional demand for my services. But in the end I decided that would be far too disruptive to the RP and the fun of the other players, so I came up with another idea instead. Hey V, I see that you're living a slightly dangerous life as of late. Like ending up in fights with vicious monsters and transporting boxes full of the caravan's black powder under your seat. First of all, I stored my black powder under your seat. Secondly, I've told you it's perfectly safe. Right. Regardless, I have the perfect thing for you, good sir. What you need is healthcare insurance. What? That's right, healthcare insurance. For just a low, low price of a few gil, you will get access to guaranteed first grade healing services for the entirety of an RP event. This will cover regular heals to mend loss of HP, decursing to remove unwanted debuffs, resurrection from the dead in case of your untimely demise, and much more! We'll tailor our offerings to match your personal needs! What do you say, man? You in? Nah, I'm good. Oh. Alright. And so here it was, Idleshire, the final destination of our travels. But, as it would turn out, not the end of our adventure, not even close. A short while after we arrived, V told me that he had a thing in store and needed to head out. When I asked him what exactly he was planning, and if it included explosives, he told me not to worry about it, and simply walked off. Absolute Chad. Now, if you are wondering what he actually ended up doing, I cannot answer because he literally never told me. V, if you end up watching this, I want you to scroll down to the comments and fill in this blank of the story. I will pin your comment if you do. And I want the rest of you to upvote him and this video for the algorithm while you are down there. Anyway, it was time for the scheduled DM led one shot of the day. I headed over to the engineering shop of Idleshire, which was the designated meeting spot for this event, in order to gather up with the others. Say, those robes... are you a white mage by any chance? Uh, yeah, I am. What of it? I was hurt in battle on the way to Idleshire. Would you be able to mend my wounds? <gasps> oh yes, of course I will help you! I can heal you back to perfect health and make all of your wounds go away! For just a teeny tiny sum of gill. Of course, I'm just happy you are willing to help. Here you go. Oh, no problem, it's my pleasure. Wait, what? That's not a trade window, that's a freaking emote! There. I hope you're feeling all well now, sir. Yeah, I was not very happy about this tiny exchange. Regardless, we waited a bit longer before the DM arrived to start the event in earnest. Adventurers! Adventurers! Gather round! Gather round! You're the owner of the shop? Yes! And I have works for you! Well paid works! Sure, what's the job? Just to clarify by the way, we didn't really get to speak with the goblin, it was the DM comprising his role. It is big jobs! I need your help in completing Moon Vessel! Moon Vessel? What's a Moon Vessel? Moon Vessel be this! Part of me 
for asking, but what the fuck? Okay, listen. If you're building WMDs to try and take over the world, I am not in. I prefer to mostly follow the Geneva Convention. No, 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 no. This be Moon Vessel. It shall carry us to Moon. And you must help me in completing it. I don't know about this, everyone. This seems sketchy. Ten grand each. Alright, I'm in. What do you need? Marvelous. Marvelous. What I needs you to do is bring me blood of Alexander using this device. What? Blood? Why would you need that? And who exactly is Alexander? <sighs> God dang it. So Alexander was this enormous slumbering robot, which had been sealed under a giant force field. The reason this evil genius goblin needed a robot's blood was because it effectively had the same properties as oil, and would work as a form of rocket fuel for the spacecraft. Why is it that we stupid warriors of light always pick the most difficult options? We could have just bought rocket fuel on the market board. Greetings, Alexander. Do not be alarmed by our approach. We only want a little bit of your blood. Wow, Dionysia. Way to make a first impression. Totally not making us sound like a group of vampires. I just don't wish to deceive him. It will be way simpler if we can negotiate with them to get what we need for peaceful means. Eh, uh, that's fair, I suppose. That's probably the safest way to get what we need Give from Give us your robot. blood! Now! So while we were just standing around, trying to decide how to best approach the task at hand, this one freaking Rogadin just rushes past all of us and begins attacking Alexander to try and straight punch the oil out of this giant robot. No! Don't don't throw it! Not that you fool! Hostile presence detected. Activating defensive measures. I'm going to grapple her and knock her over. You had to roll to do that. And I'm gonna cast a sleeping spell on her! What sleeping spell? It's a spell... Uh, it's... it... Um, wait, wait, wait a moment. I could not remember what the spell was called, because crowd control is so useless in FF14 that I literally didn't even have it on my hotbar. I had to go digging through my spellbook in the middle of this mess just to find it. Okay, it's Repose! I'm gonna cast Repose on her! And I swat him off with ease! Again, you have to roll against each other. How do I roll? I'm still new to this game! It's Slash Dice! So as you can most likely tell, things were getting just a little bit chaotic at this point. Our poor event leader was just kinda sitting there in the middle of all of this nonsense, face palming while trying to get her sheep just to behave. I imagine that, at some point, she must have decided she needed help in sorting out this mess, as a few moments later, the freaking head DM showed up on a giant phoenix, no less, and she was all like, Behave in this event and avoid PvP, or I won't forgive you for giving your DM a heart attack. This is your one warning. I think that must have made our fellow chaotic neutral RP or take a hint, as she just kinda lay down on the ground after that, pretending to be knocked out, at which point things finally began to calm down somewhat. That! Someone actually did something useful! Nice going, Dionysia! Thanks! So, should we get on with actually collecting the blood that we came for? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, how exactly do we use this thing? I don't know, just... try stabbing a pointy thing into another pointy thing or something like that. Uh, okay? Did that work? Yeah, sure. Let's just say the tank is full now and be done with it. Deploy lethal countermeasures. Task extermination. Okay, um, that's our cue to leave. Like, now. So we gathered up the blood that we had collected, and then got out of there as quickly as we could. 
The others went back to deliver the goods to the evil genius who had hired us, while I had to log off a bit earlier because it was getting a bit late for me. And, unfortunately, never got that 10k I was promised. Meaning I failed to turn a profit this evening. Again. And so, after one night of rest, the final day of the event was here. Since we had arrived at Idleshire the day before, the caravan would not move any further. Instead, the DMs had put together a little goblin market and language learning event. We gathered into small groups to try and solve language riddles, and learn about the surprisingly logical goblin tongue. It was quite cute actually. Under normal circumstances, I would have found it really fun. Under normal circumstances. Because to tell you the truth, I couldn't really get into it. Why? It's because I had made literally zero gil the whole week. Not one person, not one, had been successfully coaxed into paying me for my healing services. This was the goal I had set for myself, and I had just kinda... failed. And to make matters worse, none of the people who I got to know during the one-shot events seemed to be present. I had hoped to get the chance to talk some more with them before the 5 day RP was officially over, if only to find out whatever happened to that stupid rocket. Regardless, after a meandering about for a bit, I was pretty much ready to log out. I was. But then... Oh. That's quite nice. So I decided to stay for a bit longer. And good thing too, because less than 10 minutes later, I was pleasantly surprised to see our good friend Ionsia appear as well. So instead of a lame, anticlimactic logout, the three of us ended up having quite a lovely conversation. We chatted about the week that had passed, and what our plans were next. I might stay here for a while longer. Idleshire seems like a nice place to spend some time, but after that I need to take the gill I earned to pay some debts. Yeah, this is quite a lovely city that the goblins have built. You should take those earnings and... Wait... Earned? Yeah, the Goblin Blowbox paid us for recovering the blood of Alexander. You got paid? Yeah, he paid each of us 10,000 gil for our hard work. You actually got paid? Yes, that's what I said. God freaking darn it, are you kidding me? That goblin piece of trash scammer! Whoa, take it easy. Surely it's not that bad. Hey, Dionysia, you're a black mage, are you not? Y yes Teach me your ways! I'm dropping white magic and joining the dark side instead! I need to burn this entire city to the ground! Excuse me? Is there an issue here? You! Yes, there is an issue! That freaking goblin thief stole my money! You need to find more reliable partners and not work with these stupid FTX wannabes! Oh, here. Huh? Eh? Oh my god, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! This is freaking amazing! This is exactly- Like, I'm not even exaggerating. I was incredibly happy. It's such a silly thing. 10k is literally less than pocket change for most FF14 players. But for me, it felt huge. It felt like I'd achieved that tiny goal I had set for myself. Even though it was in a slightly roundabout manner. I was simply ecstatic. Well, good thing you stayed around long enough to get your money for the job. Don't you agree? I know, right? Oh, speaking of, did you stick around last evening? Do you know what happened to the rocket? Not sure. The goblins moved it outside of the city after we brought them the fuel. They said it would be unsafe to launch inside the city. 